Panini Leaks recently called out Portia Williams after she reportedly told the production team of the Netflix show The Upshaws that she refused to work alongside her due to their issues in the past. Take a look at Nini's response. I am shocked to hear that Portia would go to a production company and say that she doesn't want to work with me because we've had a lot of issues in the past. What lots of issues that we had in the past. Mind you guys, I haven't been a housewife in over four and a half years, okay? Besides that, as black women, okay, when you call a black woman angry, difficult, we've got problems, I can't work with them on set, that is a death trap for a black woman in the industry. All right, what are your thoughts on the situation? And also, Needy was recently spotted out hanging out with her man alongside with Portia's soon-to-be ex-husband, Simon, and his lady friend. Al, this is your friend, so let's go. <laughs> Absolutely, yeah. You know, I, I feel like this. Nene has every right to speak out. She has every right to share her truth and to speak her story. She has a dark cloud over her, you know, with the exit of Bravo and all of that, and, and them labeling her as difficult, and she's trying to stand up for herself and talking about racism. So she has been deemed, you know, maybe an angry or difficult to work with black woman. And the deal is, you don't play with people's money. And definitely not when she's been doing so well and rebuilding her brand. For Portia to kind of lean in like that, I thought that was pretty low down, especially for black women in the industry. The one thing that I've always admired about this industry, at least from the outside looking in, is black women usually have each other's back when it comes to work. They might not like each other, but they do help each other and they do try to help navigate each other. So I guess, Claudia, you could probably speak on this more than me, but I don't believe that anything Nene said was wrong. I'm gonna have to say this, and people can be mad if they want to. I remember many times of Nene being on Bravo on Watch What Happens Live and her saying that certain people should be fired from the show. Let's keep it a buck. She's definitely getting other people's other people's way of a check. And I think, unfortunately, this is coming back to bite her. Now, I do not think what Portia's doing is right either. Don't stop smelling yourself now, Portia, because the network has asked you to come back because you know the people do want Nene back on that show. They want her back on Housewives. And I'm sure they would love to see you two link up. But let us I'm not going to sit here and pretend that both of these ladies have not said things about other women to block them from getting bags. That is very well documented. All you got to do is go back and watch Andy's, watch What Happens Live. He asks everybody all the time, who do you think shouldn't come back? And a lot of times people were really saying who they should sit there. Uh, she's boring, candy. Like there's been a lot of that from each other. So it's not a victim and a, and a, an aggressor here. I think there's a lot of it going on both sides. That's, I gotta be fair, you know? And I, I, I gotta be fair, but Portia, remember you was just, you just got back in the fold, like relax, relax, relax. And you know, I, because it, it's like, it, it's karma that keeps on happening, you know? You right. do it to her, it may get done to you. You don't know how this industry is going to circle the block because it always does. Our mom, what do you think? Listen, I hate that this is happening because, you know, these are my two favorites. Um, but if I'm being honest, um, after watching the full clips, you know, it seemed like, like I'm, I'm, I stand with Nene, first of all. Let's just be very clear on that. I stand with Nene because it's like, listen, I've been hanging out with you. We were texting. We were friends. Yeah. We've been hanging out together. Then all of a sudden, it's time to get on set, and you don't want to work with me? Honestly, I just have to call a thing a thing. I don't feel like Nene said, I don't feel like Portia wanted to share the spotlight. If we want to keep it 100, it doesn't matter who your fave is. Nene is the most polarizing housewife of all time. She is the biggest housewife of all time. She is the she's the... She's the most famous to me. She's the biggest star out of all the housewives to me. And I just personally feel as though Portia knew that Nene being on that platform next to her probably was going to take away from her moment. And mm. she did not want to share that moment. And a lot of women, unfortunately, do that. A lot of black people do that because they feel like space is so limited in Hollywood. So we will not want to work with someone in fear that they'll take our spot. Right. Oh, it's definitely not a black woman thing. It's definitely a black people thing because there's a lot of crabs <laughs> in the bucket pulling people down. Nope, don't yeah. do that. Can't do this. Can't do That's that. True. And we see that every single day. I will say this, Portia and Needy, to both of you, um, a ma you got to start getting into a team mentality. I'm telling you, it's amazing when you're like the star. It's fantastic. But a lot of times you start smelling yourself like that, you will fall by the wayside and that will be your demise. Mm. And it's, it's so much better being part of a strong team because there's gonna be times where someone's gonna be weak on one thing, weak on another, the other person may fall short. And when you have a strong team, it is just a different type of effect. 
imagine if y'all would have called and I didn't know they were still hanging out and talking and cool like that. Yeah. If that's the case, of course, you mad shady for that. Like, what is the issue with that? So y'all should be, you know, like be a team. Like come, both of you coming back to the same show would have been huge. Although I have heard they reach out to a lot of housewives. Well, Nene said that Portia was upset because she sent her a text and she said, well, I'm going through my divorce and you didn't text baby sister. And I'm like, girl, that's why you didn't want to work with me because I didn't text you in regards well, they to your all, divorce. They all do that because there was a whole thing with Nene with flat. They all do that, you guys. I'm, I have to be honest, y'all. I don't have okay. a favorite. <laughs> I don't have a favorite, so you know, like, and it could be. You yeah. like Candy. Candy is your favorite. No, no she no, likes um, Kenya. No, no, Kenya. C Cynthia and Kenya are the ones I was the closest to. Oh, okay. So I, I'm just being fair about these two. I'm saying there's been a lot of. Well, you didn't send me flowers when this one passed. Well, you didn't do this when. Mm. You, there's been a lot of. If, if you, if we're being a buck, you guys. And I'll do it because I don't have a favorite. I don't have a dog in this race. Not to call them dogs. It's just a saying. I'm just saying. Everyone has done this to each other. Keep it a buck. All right, we have some comments. Uh, Ryan says, is Nene trying to work her way back on the show? And Lauren said, Nene has also said these women are, are hard to work with and violent. And Maya said, but didn't she stop Nene's bag? Nene still got the part. Oh, but she didn't stop Nene's bag. Nene still got the part. Okay, and Derek said, maybe Bravo told the cast they can't work with Nene. That could be a possibility, too. Yeah, yeah. You may not want to upset your network. And, you know, again, lots of nefarious things happen behind the scenes that we are not privy to. So we don't know. We're just going by the surface stuff that we see. But y'all need to call each other and, and, and work that out because y'all really did have a relationship.